Okay, thank you for joining me. This is Flam My Phantom. In the first video, we looked at the Phantom 1 and the Phantom 2 Vision. And now we're going to look at the Phantom 2. Now, I can't get my head around this, because I was pretty sure that the Phantom 2 was released before the Phantom 2 Vision. There was two types of Phantom 2. Uh, both of them had a 2.4 gigahertz control system as opposed to the Vision that had a 5.8 gigahertz control system because it was a 2.4 gigahertz camera. But they released the Phantom 2. Now they did one with a camera and one without the camera because I have seen them available uh, on eBay, etc. Now I may be wrong about the timeline because the reason I think they released this was because people didn't want the Vision. They wanted to have their own camera. So DJI built the Phantom 2 and they gave it a 2.4 gigahertz control system because the majority of FPV systems which you can fit to a Phantom 2 like this a 5.8 gigahertz so obviously they had to change the controller spec now the phantom 2 originally came with um no camera as i said it had the same battery as the phantom 2 vision and then they released this one i remember seeing this on marionville models uh, video that they did on the time about assembling it and dji made sure that you could have you know all the various bits fitted to it they had ports on the board they added in etc it was the same motherboard as the phantom 2 vision uh, there's all them on aircraft, ready to fly, uh, built in NASA M2 flight controller, uh, intelligent flight battery, 25 minutes. I don't know why they ever say 25 minutes. I've never ever flown a Vision with a brand new battery and got 25 minutes out of it. Um, self tightening propellers, we got that one. 2.4 gigahertz controller uh, with a separate gimbal control channel. That was the important thing, you see, because on the Vision, if you wanted to tilt the camera up and down, and you could, and I'll cover more about that in another video. Um, you had to slide your finger up and down the screen on the app. Now, when they released the Phantom 2, the controller had a little port in the back and you could fix his little lever and you could move the lever to tilt the camera up and down. Now, because it was only 2D, it stabilized in the roll and in the pitch of the camera. So when you turned, you got quite a sharp turn on the, uh, on the video feed. So what they did was they released a three a 3d a 3d gimbal uh which would suit the hero 3 and i'm not sure if it was just a hero 3 or whether you could put the hero 4 in but the idea was you had this big yaw motor here so as the as you know with a, a mini when you turn you'll see the camera slowly catch you up to get that nice smooth left and right turn you did however have to fit extended legs because this piece of motor here brought it down about that far so obviously the camera would have been damn near touching the ground on it it was still a perfectly good quad though as I said, i've seen flight distances uh, of a couple of miles with them you know avid users at the time were fitting all kinds of aerial systems to it to get the furthest and furthest range and of course having a 22 well 25 minute battery as it claims you were able to get out really really far uh, you could have an iosd device which would transmit the telemetry data for your battery your height your distance etc and you could also have what was called the Flytrex unit. Now the Flytrex unit was built by a company called Flytrex who were taken over by GoPro, who then discontinued Flytrex and basically just recorded your flight data, which was good because if you were in competition for furthest distance, then having a record of your actual flight distance and time was a bonus for it. Let's move on to the next one. The next one released was this, the FC40. Now you might think that looks familiar. It is. It's basically the Phantom 1 which is why I'm sort of a bit confused about timelines. But the FC40 came with the FC40 camera, and it just so happens I've actually got one. Let me show you my FC40. I picked this up the other day, dirt cheap, as you can see here. It is the Phantom 1, but it has this built-in camera. Now, this is where I get confused about the timeline, because we've already had the Vision, which had the range extender, which increased the range. This came with just a basic controller, uh, a 5.8 gigahertz controller, Whereas the Phantom 1 was 2.4 gigahertz, this is 5.8 gigahertz, and the camera system is on 2.4, like the Vision, but no range extender. Now I know the range of this wasn't uh, wasn't exceptional whatsoever. I'm not going to fly it either to find out. But it did have the app, which was the same as the Vision and the Vision Plus, and you can see, as I move the camera around, you can see that the app shows the camera range. And you could do things like start recording, uh, stop recording, take pictures, and it's actually got a 10 times zoom. Let's see if I can show you the zoom. Bear with me a second, I'll just get this up here. And then if I touch the zoom button, there you go, you can see it zooming in on the, on the tablet there. 
for points up there and show you me quads up there there we go you can then zoom in and then you can zoom out like that you can see that on the on the tablet there so that was the advantage because the vision didn't have zoom didn't have any kind of zoom capability whatsoever so it does surprise me that but like i said that's what confuses me why release something that takes one of these batteries after releasing the phantom 2 I'm not entirely sure anyway so that's part two in part three we'll carry on so like i said if you want some more videos please leave me a comment don't forget to hit that sub button down there and uh, subs to the channel it doesn't cost you anything and and uh, i will see you again in part three